Totteridge and Whetstone as a complete area is lacking nothing. In my opinion, the perfect area from the high road and the shops and the facilities on the high road to the schools in the area, the open spaces in the area and the sports clubs in the area. The property in the area is fantastic. Um, it's the absolute ideal place to be. I would 100% recommend anyone to uh, move into the area. You, you can find anything you want here and of course you can come to the Haven, have a nice meal. Been here for 13 years. We try and to um, give people a bit of from the West End, as a West End food and surroundings service at reasonable prices, so it's much more reasonable than the West End. Most of the customers are locals, we know them very well by name and we, they know they get looked after here and they always have the same table. It's a, a very much a, a family um, arrangement. The restaurants on the high road in Whetstone are actually really, really good. I mean, you've got such a wide variation from um, Italian restaurants such as Alfresco to Pizza Express and Ask, which is a, a pizza pasta place. You've also just recently had Bailiff, which do some fine contemporary Indian cuisine. We've had so much good response on the trip advisors recently. For within nine months, we've climbed up to like, I think we're on 60 now the ranking in London out of 17,000 Indian restaurants, which is a great achievement. I think uh, we don't need to go too far because Whetstone itself, we have, especially eating out for dining, we don't need to go out. Because people from different areas, they come to Whetstone to eat in. So obviously Whetstone is a very popular area for eating out. Totteridge and Whetstone is very good in terms of the high road having good shops, for your convenience, i.e. Waitrose, Marks and Spencers and Boots. Waitrose carries most things that people would require in, in food shopping. And of course, even now, there's a number of um, specialist shops in the high road, which um, certainly do attract business and are of interest to people who wish to live here. Virtually any time of day and night, you can run up to the high road and you can purchase whatever you want. Uh, if you're entertaining and suddenly you run out of milk, there are probably 10 places on the high road at any time of day or night where you can get a pint of milk. You've got Costa Coffee on the high road, you've got Coffee Culture. And anything else, if you want your shoes repaired, there's a nice shop as well. You want keys cut, there's a nice shop. Lots of coffee bars, dry cleaners. It's, it's, uh, you've got absolutely everything here you can possibly need. The added attraction to Whetstone is the fact that transport facilities, you've got the, the Northern Line tube train just off the high road, we have the main line at the bottom of Shandis Avenue. So if you was working at Bank, as an example, you can travel in within 30 minutes. If you wanted to let your hair down, you could travel into Camden, just over 20 minutes. We've got numerous bus routes, and it's very easy for people to travel by public transport in any direction. Whetstone um, is very well appointed with parks. You've got Swan Lane open space. You have Bethune Park, you have Oakley Park. Um, these are all fantastic for um, families with young children or uh, just sort of going down to the park and sort of just relaxing. It's so much open space. Um, it's, it's just a nice area. You almost feel like you're in a country. Totteridge and Whetstone has uh, some good sports facilities as well. There are an array of good gyms in the area, tennis clubs, bowling clubs. There are a couple of nice golf courses around him. So wherever you really go within the area, there's always going to be somewhere where there's an open space, where there's a sports facility to sort of, you know, take hold of. One of the important things for people moving into an area is, I think number one is schools. And there are some fantastic schools around here. You've got Sacred Heart at the top of Oakley Park South. You've got St Paul's School just at the top of Swan Lane. We've got private schools, we've got state schools. There's plenty of schools around which are very highly rated. The style of property in Whetstone is um, quite traditional. Majority 1930s style houses going throughout the area, but you do have your period Victorian um, and Edwardian properties. There's a lot of modern property as well, but there's a very nice variation of sort of terraced, detached, semi-detached, bit of everything. The houses are nice, the schools are good, education is good, so I would say this is, this is the area to move in and this is the area to live in peacefully. Redstone delivers. 
with whatever you, you, you're going to want. And I haven't really met many people which actually moved out of Redstone. We have very much enjoyed it. We brought our children up here. Uh, and in fact, our children live in Whetstone now. <laughs> Um, and our grandchildren live in Whetstone. Obviously the Whetstone branch being here for 50 years says it all. The people that are selling in the area are staying in the area. People don't want to, to, to move out sometimes, so it's, it's a lovely place to be.